but kids are the best for showing this kind of stuff because it's parkour is just playing. Like you'll see that I do some really cool things, but you also realize that I just have fun and I just play, playing on playgrounds. Like that's basically parkour. But you'll see real soon um, what I'm about to show you. I wanted to introduce Otto here because because of him, he reached out to me, emailed me to make you know make this happen. He wanted me to come down here and. Uh, and do parkour with him and do these assemblies. All right, so having shown you that everything I did in that video is extremely dangerous, I'm a professional stuntman who's been doing that for over 10 years. And I've learned all those things in the gym with lots of pads, lots of foam pits. And so none of the things in there you should try at home or try on your own because they're all very dangerous. But also having said that, there's actually very simple things you do that are like that, that are like parkour. They're like, who's done monkey bars? Me! Yeah, all right. He can save people before they fall off the building because he's so fast. Um, Spider-Man, he has his web, so he can shoot his webs and swing through the city to get to people really fast. If they didn't have those abilities, they might not do them very good if they can't get there in time to save people or to help people. And so it's important for them to be able to learn how to get from one point to another really fast. And that's where parkour comes in, because all of us have that ability to be superheroes in that way, to help other people and to, to get to people. And one way of learning that is, uh, is like parkour. And if Spider-Man lost his webs, he would have to do parkour to go save the people. Just because he couldn't shoot webs anymore doesn't mean he would, it doesn't mean he would stop helping people. And so this next video I'm going to show you is a video of Spider-Man when his webs stop working and how he uses parkour to get through the city. That was me in a costume, dude. That was, that was yeah. <laughs> and but parkour is all about the movement, right. basic movement. And and I mentioned that already, but the reason I emphasize this is because it, it's important for you to understand what your body is capable of and what you can do. Because it's really easy for us to look at something and go, wow, that looks cool, I want to try doing it. But if you do that, you don't know what your body is capable of. I didn't start out doing those types of things. I started out playing on playgrounds. I just learned how good I could do monkey bars, how good I could climb on things. And I did that because progression is super important. And some of the things I want to demonstrate today in person are just very simple things I use with everyday objects. The very first thing I learned when I wanted to start learning parkour is to keep in mind safety, I had to learn the safety role. So who noticed when I jump off something high, I land and do a roll. Did you guys notice the roll that I do? Yeah. Otto is going to demonstrate for me how he jumps off of this ledge and instead of just landing and letting his body fall to the ground, yeah, or letting all the impact go into his knees because that's not good for your knees, he's going to do a roll because that's going to help him disperse the impact, let the impact be spread out over the ground so it's not all in one point on his body. So, go ahead. Nice. So that's the safety roll. Good job. <laughs> who, uh, who here has done a somersault? Yeah? All right. Awesome. So the safety roll is like a somersault, but the difference is you're not going straight over your head because if you're, uh, if you're doing a roll at the playground or somewhere, and you're going straight over your head, you have that risk of bumping your head. And so when you do the safety roll, you're actually going almost sideways a little bit, diagonal over a shoulder, and then across your back to the opposite hip. So then I can jump off something. Whoa! Awesome! And practice what's called precision jumping. Oh yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, go ahead. Whoa, yeah, good job. So precision jumping, it's like balance, but it's combining it with a jump and then still keeping your balance. And these are all things that are on flat ground, very low, 
and, uh, and luckily with these I can push them as close together as I want so if I'm first learning it I can you know do just small little hops back and forth or if I've done it a lot of times spent a lot of time practicing it let's see, let's see how, how far do you think I can go maybe this far this far on flat ground, I'll find two lines anywhere on a basketball court gym, and I'll just practice landing on it with my feet. And it, it accomplishes the exact same thing, only you don't have to worry about misstepping or tripping, things like that. So, so look at this, think about this. Everything I've shown you so far are all things that are like, look amazing, these crazy stunts and videos, but there's very simple moves that you already know how to do and can practice in a safe way. And so here we have these boxes. These can, these can be anything in real life, but we built boxes because they're ideal for doing what we call vaulting. Vaulting is using your hands to jump over an object. Because you can't just run and try and jump over an object, but if you do that, you risk tripping, clipping your feet. Yeah, like that. You know, we don't want that to happen. That's dangerous. So with a vault, you're using your hands to control the motion to get over objects. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, just like that. So look, come, come stand next to this box. Look at that. So this box about comes up to your chest. It's a little bit about to my waist for me, but look at how tall this is. And because they practice, you know, very simple moves so many times and get really good at it, he's able to jump over a box almost as tall as he is. I think that's pretty cool. The coolest thing is once you start learning these basic moves or know how to do them, these moves that you already know how to do in the playground, you can combine them, you can create lines. It's like connecting the dots, you know, there's one obstacle and another, and you're the pencil, you're drawing the line between those two things as you go over each obstacle. I know you've seen the videos, and now you've seen some like basic stuff that you can do. Who wants to see stuff I can do in person? Because growing up, I just, uh, you know, I tried skateboarding and other things, they were fun, but when I discovered that parkour was something anyone could do, as long as you took it at the right level, it was something that made me feel confident every time I, like, 
got stronger or faster or could jump higher or jump farther than maybe growing my own self-confidence. And, uh, and so that's the main reason I love parkour and got into it because it's something that helped me grow as a person physically and mentally.